O Lord God, who, through the message of your heavenly angel, announced to the Virgin Mary your gift to mankind, being the promise of salvation to all who truly believe and turn to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we offer you our heartfelt thanks and praise. You, who love us so much, even though we are completely unworthy, were prepared to sacrifice your own beloved Son for our sake, that we might be cleansed of your sin. Help us always to walk in your ways, to trust wholeheartedly in you, and obey your will, that our lives may ultimately be acceptable in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for it, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The 
book of Genesis chapter 3. Now the snake was wiser than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Has God truly said that you may not take of the fruit of any tree of the garden? The woman said, We may take of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God has said, If you take of it or put your hands on it, death will come to you. The snake said, Death will certainly not come to you. For God sees that on that day when you take of its fruit, your eyes will be open and you will be as God's, having knowledge of both good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and a delight to the eye, and desiring to make one wise, she took of its fruit and gave to her husband. Their eyes were opened, and they were conscious they had no clothing, and they made themselves coats of leaves stitched together. There came to them the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the evening wind. The man and his wife went to a secret place among the trees of the garden, away from the eyes of the Lord God. The voice of the Lord God came to the man, saying, where are you? He said, Hearing your voice in the garden, I was full of fear, because I was without clothing. I kept myself from your eyes. God said, Who gave you the knowledge that you were without clothing? Have you taken of the fruit of the tree which I said you were not to take? The man said, The woman who you gave to be with me. She gave me the fruit of the tree, and I took it. The Lord God said to the woman, What have you done? The woman said, I was tricked by the deceit of the snake, and I took it. The Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and every beast of the field. You will go flat on the earth and dust will be your food all the days of your life. There will be war between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. By him will your head be crushed, and by you his foot wounded. To the woman he said, Great will be your pain in childbirth. In sorrow will your children come to birth. Still your desire will be for your husband, but he will be your master. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1. The time came for Elizabeth to have her baby, and she gave birth to her son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they wanted to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother replied, No. He must be named John. They said to her, But none of your relatives bears this name. And so they made signs to the baby's father, inquiring what he wanted to name his son. 
he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. They were all amazed. Immediately Zechariah's mouth was opened, his tongue released, and he spoke, blessing God. All their neighbours were filled with fear, and throughout the entire hill country of Judea, all these things were talked about. All who heard these things kept them in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the Lord's hand was indeed upon him. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, because he has come to help and has redeemed his people. For he has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of the holy prophets from long ago, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. He has done this to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham. This oath grants that we, being rescued from the hand of our enemies, may serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, for as long as we live. You, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of our God's tender mercy, the dawn will break upon us from on high, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always that which is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour, Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.